the moving right there. Yeah, we can't move in anymore. Actually, we can still move in slightly a bit more. Okay. You guys go right there. Yeah, go right there. You guys go right there. You guys go on right there. Go right. And then you guys go on right there. And then, yeah, we could basically just hit it up from there. Okay, actually, we need to go hit up some of these guys. Yeah, because now they're. Oh, dang it, now they're. Now they're basically just blockading that place, so I can't get to it. Oh, dang it. Dang, I cannot defend my men. I hate all these little tiny armies that keep foaming in from Russia. Or from Germany. Come on, Germany, keep damaging them. That's all you need to do is just keep damaging the men. And America is already, like, no one, no one is going to take down America. No one is. And I'm moving in the rest of my last reserves to the frontier. Maybe this battle right here will break it. It'll break the final straw. Let's see. Are they even willing to admit defeat? Let's see. That's all I want to know is if they would be willing to admit defeat. They would be willing to admit defeat, but I want what I want. That's all I'm going to say. Because before that happens, is I want at least these, these two things happen, okay? The rest of it... I could deal less with, but I at least want those two things to happen. Okay, I want Sumatra and I want Habe. That way I have good enough rubber, produ rubber production and a good enough other production. What the heck? Oh yeah, we're moving in pretty fast. Go right here though. Just to make sure they do not think that they can move in. There we go. Moving right there. Okay. I think these soldiers are basically messed over. <laughs> I, I don't see many ways I could save them in their current state. And these guys are starting to annoy me over here. I'm going to go send more soldiers. Yeah, and then these South African troops have just been here this entire time and have just basically been a pain. Okay, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. You are finished up with your conquest. So then after this, I'm going to go send you guys to go help on the main front. You guys move in right there. You guys move in. Actually, I'm just I'm trying to make sure that they still get all destroyed in this. So we just have to keep a couple soldiers there. Move in these guys right here. There. Yes. Okay, and then right here I cannot move in anymore because there's two places I'd have to go to. I don't want to spread myself too thin. Okay. It's angry. It's like completely angry. I'm gonna send in more soldiers. I cannot attack those guys over there, which is so angry. Okay, what is making these guys so good? Oh, this is an actual proper army. You guys go attack these guys then. Because this is a proper army, and I'm gonna use those guys to go try to break down some of these. Okay, now these guys are becoming too numerous in this land. It's starting to like. <laughs> Uh, become annoyingly numerous. So let's start destroying some of these armies before anything happens. Oh, shoot. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ah, man, this war is not going to end. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Glory to the Empire, by the way. And welcome back to another episode of Victoria to uh, Indian Empire. Man, but gosh, seriously, though. This, this war seems to be going on for an incredibly long amount of time. Like, there is just no end in sight because of this... Because of this, all these things happening. Okay, so it's going to Nitsila. It's going to Nitsila Novgorod. Oh, what? what? It's going to Nov. Oh, Nits Nitsila Novgorod. Destroy them. <laughs> destroy them. Yeah, des destroy the last little Russian remnants. Okay, you guys go this way. That should basically destroy those guys. These guys are almost all dead, which is good. So we basically need to send in one more big gigantic force to go clean up the rest of these guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they should be able to hold that. That is definitely not one of those moments where it'll be the Russians held the line. No, it'll be one of those moments where the Russians just flat out were defeated. Okay, and then you guys 
go crush some of these guys. We need to wait. You go deal with this army because that's the only reason why I have you over here is to deal with that army. Over here we have more Russians coming in, of course, but most of the main army of the Austrians has been defeated. I'm pretty sure most of the main army of the Austrians have been defeated, and I still have a big army coming. Like I can still fight, so that's really good. And oh my goodness, I never conquered this back. <laughs> oh my goodness, they've had. They've had that. They've had that game for so long. Ah, wow. Okay. Then you guys go right here. You guys go right there. Almost there. And then you are finished up, so you guys can go all the way to the new front. Okay. And I'm finishing up conquering some of these guys. Just destroying everything. Okay. You guys are going up there. Destroy the rest of these guys. And. Right. Once this is all done, I'll be able to explode a lot of my men to the front. And we'll be able to move in again. But we need to finish up that little conquest right there before we can do anything. Oh, I have a lot of troops just sitting here. <laughs> okay, go send these troops to go help in that front. Um, go send these troops to go help right there. Go send these troops to go help right there. Well, actually, go move them in right there. Go stop these guys. Uh, you guys move in right there. You guys move in right there. Just trying to make sure we kill all these guys off. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know I had even more troops. Uh, fastest months. Outlaw, yeah. Oh, I lost a battle, that's not good. In Krakow. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. I'm gonna have to be really weary of that. They're gonna be able to conquer this back. I already know it. I will not be able to win that. I'm gonna have to put some good forces over there to guard that place. Mm hmm. Alright. Let's see. So you guys are rapidly finishing up your conquest, and all that is soon to be purple. <laughs> We're changing from one shade of red to another shade. Okay, let's go right here. Yeah, just all these battles I win. Okay, you guys are basically done. I'll help you guys go conquer a little bit over here. You guys are finally, thank goodness, they're finally done. Okay, so now we can start like planning this. You guys go right there, you guys go right there. You stay right there, you go right there. You go right there. Yeah. And you guys can go right there, you guys can go right there. You guys can divide and conquer. Go right there, you guys go right there. 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 And right there, and you guys go right there. Yeah, that's how you move in an army, everyone. <laughs> uh huh, he is. And I still got someone reserved, too, which is the funny thing. Okay, which means I'll actually go send these reserves down here to go. We'll send some of them, actually. I don't. The, you're gonna be on the front line now. So I need you guys, actually, over here. I'm gonna go send these guys over here to go make sure we have this all conquered and dealt with and protected. Um. Okay, there's no new force attacking. Capiche? Okay. I'm gonna move in you guys over here to go over there so we can go go attempt, at least attempt a land invasion of the Sumatrans. We can try to gain some of our land that we want. Uh, and then let's see. This should I should be seeing, like seriously, I should be seeing a massive turnover in terms of manpower. Because now that the Germans have basically been destroyed, I should be seeing this, but I don't. They seem to be just ignoring me still. Which is kind of hurting my feelings a little bit. <laughs> to be honest, I ex expected me to be a little bit more of a threat. Okay, they're, they're breezing through my troops. I don't know why. It's not good, though. When they breeze through my troops, it usually means I did something. I'm going to have these guys who are much tougher men go fight them. I don't know why they're breezing through my troops so easily. Okay, let's see. Uh, they just have a higher attack advantage. I don't know why. We're starting to get higher rolls ourselves. Uh, that battle, we're going to win that battle, don't worry guys. But it may take us a lot of man. It may take a lot of manpower to do it. Do we have enough men down there. They're going to destroy these guys. You guys. Uh, I could basically go push you guys. Okay, now you guys can move up with me. Right there. Oh, shoot! These guys just all died. Ooh. 
that was a big mistake on my part. I didn't know that you could go to the sea. I thought that was completely blocked. Okay, well, time to re time to go destroy all these guys to make sure they don't conquer anymore. Now I'm just I'm really getting close to Jimmy now. We are com this is completely foreign to us, and I'm not gonna deal with the rebels. The rebels are not my priority. Uh, if I get into conflicts with them, sure, that's fine, but they're not my priority. Those are the Soviet rebels, not my rebels. Okay, and then you guys go right there, crush these guys right there, you guys go right there, and yeah. Look at all that. <laughs> Holy shoot, that's a lot of rebels. <laughs> oh my goodness. They must be having some kind of political instability now with all the money running out. And somehow these guys managed to conquer Delphi. I am so glad this is not my capital, otherwise I'd be so mad right about now. Okay, how many soldiers is 16? So let's see, that's 15. Yes, that's actually a good enough number. Okay, so let's see, you guys get on the boats. Right here. Let's start, let's start taking over some of this. Okay, wait, wait, let's go right there. And it seems like most of these islands have been conquered already by different indigenous groups. So I'm assuming that I'm assuming that they have no army on this continent. So we could easily just go in and just be like casually conquering all this back, which is a good thing because I didn't really want to fight a gigantic army anyways. Okay, back to this front, which is basically becoming the main front. This is the main Republican guards. Wow, you guys have really serious bad issues, <laughs> Russia. I mean, the fact that Republicans are now starting to form, gosh. Okay, so we've pushed a lot through. I mean, oof, man, we pushed through. They're trying to do a mini attack right here. Do we have enough men? Uh, I could probably spend some men from over here to go help out those guys. Okay. And then you guys are right there. Yeah, that should help out that battle right there. These guys still major, major losses on my part. Don't know why. I still don't know why I'm losing so many men, but I'm assuming it has something to do with my technology. That's the only way I could see me losing this many men and not have any real reason why. Okay, and I'm just going to completely ignore the rebels because they're not really my difficult. They're not really my problem, in, in essence. If I was to lose, they would actually help me. Okay, and you guys are going to go up there. Yeah, we're basically cleaning up the rest of this border. Uh, but I think... I think this is the final... These armies are the final big Austrian ones, so... We shouldn't be too worried, because I think the rest of them were dealt with by the Germans. The Germans have basically destroyed the big, bigger armies of the... Austrians, which is good because I don't think we could fight against the Austrians if they had any more of an army. You guys go right here. Okay. Victory, victory, of course. Of course. Okay, you guys go just we're gonna have to destroy one army though. Because that's actually directly in our way. That's only that's the only thing I think I'll do is that if it's in our way, then I think I'll give up. If it's not in our way, then I'll go attack them with all of our might. Okay. Well, reverse those two statements, by the way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was bad. <laughs> okay, now my throat is starting to get hurt. <laughs> starting to feel forced again. And these guys are still coming at us. But luckily, since since I already know that they're weak, and all I need to do is just basically... I'm going to need to destroy these rebels, though. Because these rebels are going to be directly in our path. I mean, these guys are finally free. Good, good gracious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me let me just do this. Add a war goal to to do this, and I'm just gonna individually talk to them and they're basically gonna become part of my sphere. Just, dang it. This is part of proper India. Okay, I gotta I gotta not take my eyes off the war goal. Okay, when do I have diplomatic yeah, say when do I have diplomatic status again? Uh, December 22nd. Okay, so 22nd, I can go do stuff. But for right now, I should probably still focus on this. Because they're going to start trying to tear me to pieces over here. 
Pokemon, which is annoying me a little bit, but this is a big gigantic battle right here. We have Soviets, Russians, Austrians, Soviets, and I keep sending in more men to make sure that we keep balancing this out, because I'm not losing this battle. And how much... Oh, shoot, I did lose that battle. What the heck? Okay, my free force just got even a bigger buffer. Okay. I think we're almost there to block this off. Let's block this way off. That way they don't use this anymore against us. Okay, because that was pretty weird. <laughs> uh, okay. You, go back here. Go make sure St. Petersburg does not get reconquered. You, go right here. Can you use this to... Yeah, you can. Okay, so then you go right there. Because this is actually more important that you block up that. It seems like there's some men that aren't doing their purposes, which is defending... I'll go send in my own man to go deal with them. Mm. Yeah. That should do it. And now I have January 4th. So what I'm going to do over here in Bastia is propose peace, annex. They would not accept this offer, really. You guys are basically a part of me. And you guys will not accept an offer of annexation. Oh my goodness. So let's see. Soviets are 76% of the power of the... Austrians are 34%. What about me? How much do I have? I have a thousand and seven. Yeah, I'm definitely winning in that regard, but I'm pretty sure the Austrians have a better tech than me. So it's going to be, it's going to be who has quantity and who has quality. Who has a good mixture of both to see who will survive this war. Because right now, this is a definite survival war. We're going to see who can actually beat the other in this war. I'm pretty sure though I'm going to win in the end, but... It's getting less and less sure because we keep going on and on. But we're doing it for a noble cause. I will not deny that that we know what we are doing. We are doing this for one cause and one cause only. The Battle of Menque. Okay, I'm losing a lot of these battles. Ooh. Yeah, it was this one. Okay, that's fine. I knew that was I knew I was gonna lose that one. That wasn't the one I was hoping I would lose, because I can't lose this one right here. That's the one I cannot lose. That one's a big battle. It has tons of men on both sides, and if we lose that one, then we are basically boned. Because if we win that battle, then we will have a whole bunch of troops that will come into our land and destroy a lot of our stuff. Which is something we don't want. You carry out all these guys. And I guess the British don't have any more of a navy. I guess the Japanese did help in a sense. Because I don't see any more British army or navy over here conquering my land. So I guess they did help in a sense. Let's see, go down here. Hey, you guys, my only transports who I never upgraded this entire game. Oh my goodness, I was so terrible in naval tech this game. <laughs> yeah, I guess Japan must have destroyed all of the, must have destroyed all the British stuff. So then we're just gonna move in right now and just destroy them over there. Um, and then this over here front should be finished. So I'm gonna call in these two armies to go over here and go deal with the heavy fighting. Germany is basically reconquering back their capitals. Mm. They're stabbing back at Russia with enthusiasm. Okay, and there's more of my troops arriving to try to turn the tide of this battle. It's becoming majorly important. <laughs> okay, you guys can actually move up because you guys are safe. You guys can actually move up because you guys are safe. No, you guys aren't. You actually have three ways you can get infiltrated. Um, you guys can move up because you guys are safe. No, you guys aren't. Three ways you guys get infiltrated. Well, I can move in you guys right here. There we go. That way we could basically move in still, I guess. Yeah, that's basically why I'm doing this. Okay. Okay, and some more rebels. I don't like you the rebels spawn because they actually helped me out in the end. <laughs> okay, but this battle, dang. So many men, so many men, uh, this battle right here, so many men have been lost. Like, is that Stalingrad? No, it's Roslov. Oh man, I would have laughed if that was Stalingrad. Wait, isn't Stalingrad Roslov? Holy shoot. Whoa! Wow, we just did a historical thing, guys. We've been fighting in the legendary city of... Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Um, I'm gonna go send these guys down here because we need to go make sure that this front is not attacked. And we are having massive troop troop losses, and of course they gotta. The rebels have got to intercept me when I needed them not to. Yeah, just retreat. No point in keeping up with that battle because. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then the rebels. Ugh, the rebels. That's annoying, rebels. Seriously. You guys just like completely. You guys occupied my friends. Uh, oh man, that must have been a plan tactic by the Soviets right there. Must have known how to done that, but we have 85 troops right there, and they're gonna slowly move into Prague. I've basically pushed pushed through the entire Austrian like this must be the last of their soldiers. This must be. Because I see no other soldiers coming out of their army ranks, and I would have assumed by now they would have started sending something after me. I mean, there's still some over here, but they don't seem to be conquering. They don't seem to be wanting to conquer rest or destroy this German force right here, so I'm assuming this is the last. The forces over here. I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit. You guys move up forward, and we're just gonna casually move down all the way up Sumatra. That way we get a war goal. Cause I bet that's one of our things. Defenders, occupation, Ooh. acquire Sumatra, Scotland acquire. Yeah, it's the only thing that isn't getting filled. But let's see: Germany, Japan, and America. America. Let's see: Would the Bolsheviks accept surrender? No, the Bolsheviks would not accept surrender. Even though I have most of the land, they would not accept surrender. One... Okay. Recruitment drive, our people are weary. I probably do need that, because it's... Uh, my man must be so dead. After fighting for so long... This war has definitely turned into one... Ah, oh, shoot. Yes! Wait, what? When did I win this battle? Yes! <gasps> yes! Okay. Send all you guys to go attack these guys. We're gonna go do massive attacks onto little tiny armies to go... Oh my goodness, Russia! What the... Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm so close to getting to the actual country, but these rebels are starting to become an issue. Like a major issue. What are they for? Uh, Ukrainian nationals. Actually, I don't mind if Ukraine falls. So, I'm pulling out. As soon as I can, I'm gonna pull out. Ah, right, dang. These guys right here, though, they're gonna attack me as much as possible. Over here, I'm gonna go send you guys actually to go right here. We're gonna say, ah, oh, dang. You guys. Win that battle, okay. And you guys have won that battle, go right here. You guys are gonna be in my attack force to make sure that we deal with these guys pretty much handily. Um Man, all these rebels. Dang. Now this is not helping me <laughs> in the least bit. Like I am not being helped by this anymore. These rebels are now becoming quite annoying. Hmm. Almost like my rebels. Alright. Almost done down there, so now I'll be able to move stuff. Alright, and let's see. Let's see. There's some Soviets over there. Moving my troops as quickly as I can to go down and go reinforce those guys to go make sure they don't die. Yes, that should become a big, gigantic, epic battle. Okay. Let's conquer a little bit more. Okay, so basically, I'm going to try to avoid. If I can try to avoid attacking as many of these rebels as I can because they're actually helpful. I can destroy just a little bit of these guys, but I'm gonna try to make sure I don't attack as much. Okay, so let's see if I move in right there, moving you guys right there, basically corners them, and you guys have finally done with this conquest over here. Oh my goodness, and then you guys, these German, that big gigantic German force is helping keep... Yeah, and now they're conquering some more of actual Prussia. Like I said, this is this is why I think the Austrians are basically fed. Because they because if this big gigantic force can basically go in and go start conquering some of them, they basically must be fed. Okay, let's move in. Ah, oh, dang. 
Um, no, keep up these guys. Oh, dang it! I can't move in anywhere. Okay, you guys moving right there. You guys moving right there. And for the rest of them, I'm just gonna wait for them to go attack them because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this perfectly good rebellion. Why would I want to ruin a perfectly good rebellion? Sheesh. Am I some kind of like evil person now? Okay, and then you guys. Pretty gigantic force right here. Alright. Basically, we're gonna have to win this battle if we're gonna need to win that battle. Okay, we're gonna have to win that battle as soon as possible, though. Because this one's rapidly collapsing. Because for some reason, just Austrian commanders are insanely good what they do. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go send you guys to go down here. You guys to go right here. Let me combine all you guys under one competent guy. Yeah, you you're basically competent. <laughs> okay. And then oh man, we're almost to the border. We're right at we're almost at the Austrian border, guys. This is almost a proud event. A very good event, I should say. I mean this is a proud event, but it's also a very good event. And J Russia, after this, is going to be wrecked. Like, their army is not going to be able to recover from all these nationalists. And oh my goodness, so is Austria. Austria is dealing with, um, dealing with much rebels. And I'm sorry, guys, but we are out of time again. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.